afternoon, uh, Bible friend, uh, Brother Bernard Duchan. Been gone for a while. I'm still uh, still buying a few Bibles, but I took a break from doing the videos. But I got a special Bible today that I want to unbox and a short view. Pray that you've been doing well. You still have been reading your Bibles, your Word. I actually did a, a, a couple of unboxings, I think it was, a, a while back, but I just didn't post them. And uh, of those Bibles, I will come back and show them to you. I'm mostly now using uh, New King James and King James Bibles. I did a lot of soul searching on what version to use. Not a King James only, it's but uh, I was raised on King James and New King James and preached from the New King James for most of my ministry, which is uh, over 30 years now. And I still love and appreciate the other ones, especially my, my Schuylers and New American Standard and the Steadfast Bibles in both New American Standard and the Legacy Standard Bible. And I still use them for study, and every once in a while I carry one of them into the pulpit with me when I want to uh, read a different translation for the passage that I'm preaching. Even last night, on my Wednesday night study, I carried my King James with me and uh, an ESV uh, to give them the understanding and to a passage that is rather hard to understand in the King James. For most of you, you know what I mean by that. I remember hearing one reviewer saying the one thing about the King James is because it is difficult to understand in some places that it makes you dig a little harder. And that's absolutely true. If you can't understand it, there are plenty of helps out there, not to mention the other translations to help you to understand God's Word. But it's still beautiful. As I said, I've got uh, Schuylers. My, my wife, I gave my wife a Schuyler, and she's still using her New American Standard uh, Schuyler. I have uh, Legacy Standards that are, in pre that are all premium Bibles. I have the Premier Editions in... Thomas Nelson for New King James, also New American Standard. Well, this is my first R.L. Allen Bible. It's not very often you find the ones that they call the flagships. That is, if you know R.L. Allen's, the 53 is, is what uh, some call the flagship, but there's also the 63. Uh, and the 63 Sovereign is what I have here today. A while back, they had these, and I ordered one. They're now gone from their website. They didn't last very long. Uh, comes from R.L. Allen. R.L. Allen and Son Publishers uh, in England. And... Today we're going to we're going to open one, and so let's get to it. I'm in, I'm excited about this one. Allen's, I know a lot of people compare Allen's R. L. Allen's. They compare uh, Cambridge, which I my first premium Bible, uh, probably ten or more years ago, was a Cambridge New King James wide margin, which I used for a long time. And the Skylers. They all, everybody's always comparing which is better. And they all have beautiful, wonderful goat skin or calf skin. This is a 63 long primer sovereign, which means it's the wide margin. And it is well sealed. I'm trying to be careful with it. I think there, oh, there's a tear. <laughs> Look at there. There's a tarot, so get this open. Nice back and cut that. There we go. Take that and it's 
what the Tim does. Throw that over there. I'm sure some of you that are watching have an Allen. I've been reading the Allen Addicts Facebook page and how they enjoy them. And many of them on there are collectors. And as I said, this is my my first Allen. This is a uh, I knew it was going to be a hefty Bible because it is the sovereign and it is wide margin. You have the, can you see that okay? My wife's filming for me, but she's having sight problems right now. So I trust you can see the at least the white strip in there, right? Okay. Of course, that it says Allen 63 Long Primer Sovereign KJV Reference Bible Black Highland Goat Skin and Concordant, Allen's. A beautiful blue box that they all come in. All right, drop that down. Take it out. Have the, they have the, the Yap Keepers. So this is a full Yap Bible. I can, ooh, that is so soft. That is, that is soft. And you see, up front, of course, Holy Bible, which it is. Holy Bible has concordance. I would have rather they had KJV right there than concordance. And, of course, Allen. And it is, it is smooth and it is floppy. It has two tool lines. This way, I was going the wrong direction. Oh, I see. You can hear the scanner in the background. You have a tool line here, and rather than perimeter stitching, they just have tool lines on the Allens. On, on these Sovereigns, there's one here, and also one on the perimeter on the outside. It does have dual, look at the corner work. Corner work is exquisite. I know on all of these Allens. Highland goat skin. On the back. Allen binding by Charfleet Book Bindery in, in England. This is this is calf skin, this this inside liner. This is calf skin. Uh, this is this is paper. And of course, it is line edged on both sides. Also, Smythe sewn, and this should last a long, long time. A long time. Now, the thing about these Bibles, when I first found them, and I was looking and was surprised to see that they had the sixty-three long primer uh, sovereigns on their page because everybody always talked about how hard they were to find. It said special purchase. And the reason they were a special purchase is because they said there had been uh, the, the gilding was imperfect. And so let's see just how imperfect the gilding is. Of course, they have the gold edging but they also have the deep red. They have the deep red under the gold. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. And so far on the side, on the top, and on the bottom, I see nothing to indicate any kind of imperfection on the gilding. Now, others have said that there could be some bleeding of the red on certain pages. I'm just flipping through it real quickly here. And so far, I see no bleeding. If there is any, it's going to be in just a very few short pages. I see I see nothing. This looks like a completely perfect Bible to me. 
I can count myself indeed blessed. I can count myself blessed. Of course, like I said, uh, line edged. They have the cardstock in the front, the presentation page. I'm not going to do a, a thorough review right now, but let's turn to the inside real quick. This is in the Old Testament. Of course, it's double column, center reference, verse by verse. This is my favorite format for a Bible. This is just perfect. Double column, center reference, verse by verse. And with this, it has, I think they're one inch on the side and on the bottom, three quarters of an inch on this side and about a half inch on the inside. I believe that's what uh, they said that they are. That's, it's, it doesn't give us any anything about the Bible in there. And it is also what I prefer, as many do, this is a black letter edition. The words of Christ are not in red. And that's the way I also prefer it. So it's black letter. In the back, there is, they have a listing of proper names, which is, which is good. You, not only uh, pronunciation, but telling you where you can find reference to that, uh, to that person and a little bit about them. And it also, of course, has after the proper names, a subject index. There's, uh, or, and then you, you have a subject names, subject index, names, and a concordance. A pretty thorough concordance. And not bad print for a concordance. Bible maps, I think there's 16 Bible maps. There's a page to the maps. I don't use Bible maps very much at all. Eh? It also has 32 pages of line uh, notebook paper, note pages, and I use those. I use note paper. And so that is uh, brand new, supposedly special purchase, R.L. Allen, 63 Long Primer Sovereign and Highland Goatskin. Beautiful, beautiful Bible. I'll come back uh, in a little bit with a more thorough look-see as well as some of the other Bibles that I've uh, purchased lately, uh, some of my favorite that I've been using, and I look forward to doing that. Until then, may God bless you.